Broadcasting from the Lush But Not Lavish studios located in the basement of the O'Keefe Institute for Advanced Film Snarkitude. This is Real Spoilers, episode 781. God damn, Webb. Uh, how many like how many superhero movies do we have this year? Do we have any more? Are we done? Uh, we is, talk about this, this every week. This Let's year? see. De- Deadpool. Isn't Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool. 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 <laughs> that's right. That's right. But that's it. I think that's it. I think so. Okay. Well, we started off with a bang. Yeah, yeah. Is this a, a superhero movie? It's a, it's yeah. technically I, a Marvel character. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. ain't a super nothing movie. No, it's it. Nope. Yeah. Nope. So uh, before we get too far afield, <laughs> let's go around the table and everyone can introduce themselves. You can go. I'm Matt. Yeah. Hi, this is Joe. This is Kevin. And this is Tom. Uh, quick shameless plugs. Don't forget we're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube. Uh, tune in iHeart. Wherever you find a podcast, you can find us. While you're there, be sure and follow us so you never miss an episode. Maybe leave us a review. Super helpful. Greatly appreciated. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash real spoilers. While you're there, like the page. Join the group. It's called the League of Show Shares because we are hoping you will share an episode. People who were kind enough to share an episode last week include uh, Librarian Cynthia, Chris Valls, Matt Gonzalez, Richard Crotzer, Julianne Jordan, Tom Dowdy, Ralph Tribble, Travis Tewitt, Gabriel Lugo, Phil Timon, Chris Magic Man, Heather Sachs, Taylor Ward, Matt Naglia, The Kryptonian Orphan, Ronnie Castle, Edit Photo Gamer, Nostalgia Cast, Ryan Terry, In Session Film, Colby Mac, Geek to Me Radio, and Binge Movies. So thank you very much. We greatly appreciate you sharing an episode. And uh, don't forget we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash real spoilers, where for five bucks a month you get all sorts of bonus content, and we love you long time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also you can watch all these on YouTube if you would like to uh, see the shock and horror on our face <laughs> as we discuss Madam Webb. Hey, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying our... history might be kind to me <laughs> well, with, with Lisa Frankenstein. Well, we're the only ones that saw that movie, so they had to come to us for the review. <laughs> right. No one else <laughs> hey, was discussing it. Hey, I'll take it. it. I'll we take it. Probably... Don't yuck on my yum, Kevin. I'm not. You enjoy your necrophilia <laughs> our, all you want. Our <laughs> Madam Web downloads probably include like Diablo Cody. I know. Yeah, like, right, right. like No one's talking. Well, these guys are. <laughs> uh, hey. I thought it was great. Yeah. I had a great time. So, so uh, better. I'll watch Lisa Frankenstein a billion times before I ever watch this again. Oh, disagree. What? This movie is a blast to like. <laughs> oh, this is, no, no. This is like so fun to just like, oh. <laughs> like watch and slack. Joe, like how did a major studio make this movie? It's like un- in a day and age when entire completed films are deemed more valuable as a tax write-off how does this r- run Here, the gauntlet well, is is it possible then that everyone's uh, that's going oh i wish i could have seen batwoman would see it and go they were right <laughs> you know what honestly they were right. that was my call from the get-go i was what? like that batgirl just i mean i know you got to see him before you truly judge but like that sounds like dog like Batgirl I, just sounds like uh, Oh, see, I disagree. I, I think I've never seen a Batgirl incarnation where I was like, ooh, that was pretty good. So here's the thing though. <laughs> I do think that that character could lend itself like could be a great movie, right? You've got the daughter of the police commissioner who is also yeah. the I mean, masked sure, vigilante. Sure, maybe. Sure, anything. I mean, it's it absolutely be. possible. Who would have thought, I think the who would have thought <laughs> Lego movie would that's be what good, I'm right? Who would have so, thought Barbie would make $1.5 right. billion? So, like, I think, sure, I think there's something there for Batgirl. You know, any given Sunday, right? But I want to see the Batgirl Also movie. a good movie. No, I just meant the concept oh. of any given Sunday. <laughs> somebody can win, right? Anybody yeah. can win. I want to see it, though. But if somebody had given me, like, a... 
sketchy DVD in a back alley and said, it's called Madam Web. They never released it. <laughs> and I took it home and watched it. I would I would be like, yeah. well, well I get it. That's, it's a bummer for everyone involved. but right. Or maybe yeah. not. No, I guess yeah. what a... I yeah. don't think that it would have been. What a gift. Yeah. I don't, I don't, you got paid and nobody had to see it. Right. I don't think you should be able to write movies off for tax write-offs. I just don't think you should. I think there should be a law against it. I don't care. I, I, I just... I just feel like of all the laws that we need, that's, <laughs> oh, that's for pretty sure. low on my priority list. No, for list. sure. But I mean, but I mean, we're talking about art here, and sometimes art works, and sometimes it misses. And I think to be to have all hundreds of artists working on these movies, and then be like, oh well, it didn't turn out that well, so let's just write it off for a tax write off, like years of work and and hard labor. It, by we've had this discussion. Can we write off parts I, of movies? Like, can we write <laughs> off just the dance scene in Spider Man Three? There's that now. There are exceptions. Right? I don't, but guys, I have so much to say <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. Oh about. The, I, we don't have time for these moral <laughs> quandaries. <laughs> let's get to something we can all agree on. Yeah, sure. It, you know, as I think, as all of us are of age, to drink. where we grew up, or at least we were adults in Tom's case, uh, when the Batman movies were coming out. And Batman Forever, I think, is a fun, good time with the movies. I love Batman Forever. But then we get to Batman and Robin, and you're like, how did Warner Brothers look at this and be like, okay, we're good, we're good to go. This movie makes Batman and Robin look like Citizen That's Kane. That's my point. It's now, <laughs> retroactively, now that we see what bad superhero movies can be, yeah. I mean, they were trying to make it for kids. They were, the, the other Batmans were too dark, forever corrects, and they're like, no, let's make this, like, really in, for kids. In retrospect, not that dark. It's sure, well, yeah, of course. 89 but, and 90 and returns, not that dark. Right, right, right. But, but it's all relative to the time. Yes, but then yes, they yes, kept yes. going, like, more Happy Meals, more kids' toys. It's like, kids, kids. So they went into the cartoonishness yeah, of it. Yeah, But But – Joel Schumacher knew what he was doing. He was trying to make a Saturday morning cartoon in live action. Like this movie is trying to be serious. Yeah, it's it is crazy. <laughs> you know, there are This is the whole thing, right? Sony can't uh, well they can, right? They They've can done they, it. they they can, started but, it. But I mean, they can use a oh, Spider-Man. That's the thing I, I was going to ask so, you. I, this right? is what I was going to ask. Does Sony not have the rights to Spider-Man? I thought they I had the rights to Spider-Man. I think there's some sort of deal in place yeah. that like or, if we're going if Marvel being the Wii, if we're going to Disney to, Marvel. Right. Yeah. To make if the MCU is going to have Spider-Man in it, then you need to leave it alone. Okay. Because we've seen what you do with Spider-Man <laughs> and you are not to be trusted. Well, and they're like what two for all of them. Uh, Spider Man yeah. one and two are good movies. I think so Spider Man one, two, and Amazing. Ama the oh, first Amazing, is amazing oh, Spider Man okay. was solid. That it just seems... didn't need to exist because we didn't need another Spider Man origin story. Oh, sure, right? sure, sure. Yes. Like, yeah. I feel like maybe they is it well unless they can't use Spider Man. Do they feel like? Do they feel like Tom Holland is their Spider Man? Well, that's what I thought Based they were Based on the doing. timeline, then I so would no, have to So, no, the timeline for this is Andrew Garfield. I don't... So, this is 2000... This, this is 2003. Movie, but if you look at the... the or Like, where's Richard Parker? That's all Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Right. The whole thing. So but, it, like, yeah, that but movie, it can be anyone else. No, we it could. A, yeah. But, I mean, like, if we're looking at the three Spider-Men that we have right now... Now, the, this lines up to be Tom Holland when yeah. he's in high school, because this is 20-something years before, so when he was in Civil War, he would have been a high school kid. This lines up for Tom Holland, and that's... Oh, but then they I, never I, say the character's name, like, they can't cross it over. They never say... That, you know who else... Who others, whose name they don't say also? May. Right. They never I say, never say So May. here's my theory. I think they cannot do anything that paints the MCU into a corner. Sure, oh. and so I—I I mean, I think they're contractually forbidden, so they dance around it. So but MCU never... has the say, even though Sony has the rights. Yeah. They've made a deal to where only MCU can use those characters because this movie's ridiculous in the way they dance around the name thing. But, but they call so him. Bad. But they yeah. call. But oh, but I guess the MCU we never see a no, we, right? We right. have they just yeah. 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 An right. amazing Spider-Man move film came yeah. out in. It comes out nine years after this is taking place. Oh, is place. that right? Yeah, it comes out in 2012. Oh, okay. So, like, okay. yeah. Like it's so totally trying to wedge tie into MCU, into... but not I think, if they don't want it to, I right? think the goal <laughs> is, and it's adorable. It's ad <laughs> it's Sony, you're, you're, you're adorable. Is that, like, well, if we do this and, it, and it's good, oh. 
then what it means is MCU you right there. will, <laughs> and, will and, bring it. Kevin Feige goes, yeah, that's fine. You'll do that, and if it's good, it will tie in. Go for <laughs> it. Anything yeah. that doesn't use our rights, yeah. So what? So they could have made a Sp- Spider Woman movie, right? Sure. Yeah. Apparently. And w- w- why, why did they do not? That? I, like, it this, seems it's, like this woman's superpower is driving cars. But, okay. Go. Here's the thing: is they have these spider spinoff movies. They've been made Venom, Villain Craven, Mo- Morbius, kind of. Well, see, Venom and Morbius walk that line, right? But still, but <laughs> Craven, Madam, like these are the these are the, with the exception of Venom. The fringiest of fringe Spider-Man characters. It's like, all they got. Because that's what the rights are to. But they have Spider-Woman. They can make a Jessica Drew movie. And it seems like they went, well, people won't accept a Spider-Woman right out the gate. We have to set it up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what are you? Let's set it up with a movie that will ensure we'll never make a Spider-Woman movie. <laughs> Let's put them in these suits for sure one flashback. Somebody that's probably crazy. went, how insane is that? Probably right said, like, oh, cool. So, yeah, last third, final act, they're going to be Spider-Woman. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> never. Remember that dream from the beginning? We'll flash back to that eight or nine times. Same scene, yeah. I don't. I think that's true. I, I think, think we did it two twice. or three we times. <laughs> and there's more footage because I've seen footage of Sydney uh, Sweeney. Sydney Sweeney. No, that's her in that close up, that one close no, up. No, they're no, just no, zoomed on her. No, no. no? I've no. seen footage of Sydney I've Sweeney. Seen, too. <laughs> I've seen footage of her descending on a web upside down that you oh, don't see in this movie. That's in the movie. That's the close up of her when she's upside yeah, down. But yeah. he's saying there's a there's a full scene of her like dropping. Yeah, you the saw the behind the scenes where she's yeah. doing that, but that scene in the movie is zoomed in on her upside down. That she is flips that. over yeah. even. That's because it's all that, cut up like a right. That is the scene you've seen. It's just you saw what would have been cool like seeing the whole thing but sure. but in that flashback he sees spider woman the sydney sweeney version jessica julia i'm sorry julia yeah it's so, so it's here's julia this, julia julia like her name but her, they changed her name in this they changed her name in this so then for what's no the, reason wait a so what's the hold on so now not only do we have this limited amount of characters we can use they're changing their names yes her name her name in the comics is Julia Carpenter. Okay, I yeah. think we should dive into the plot of the movie. It, well, I, th- I think that's part of the problem, right? It's like, why you have this exact costume, the exact look of this character? No, her name is Julia Caldwell. Yeah. But, what? Why? Why? Wow. Uh, yeah, so Dakota Johnson is this paramedic who hates saving people well, who I hates mean, you life. got you're we got to start in, in the peru. jungles we're in peru oh yeah that's right okay so the whole jungle thing is also okay so this is jessica drew the spider woman that i've one of my favorite characters one of the best costume designs kind of ever for ever is her origin story is she gets infected by her parents who are bad people and she gets spider powers she becomes spider woman they just take that for Cassandra Webb, who is Madam Webb, and they just well, so utilize that for her. They wanted to dance around the fact that Madam Webb is blind and paralyzed, and so they had to give. They changed her backstory yes. to say that oh, the mom was trying to save her from this, but, but I then, don't have a neurological disease. Oh my god! So yes, she is searching for this spider in Peru. Um, and she finds it. She's got this partner who is Ezekiel Sims, who is a character in the, in the comics created by J. Michael Straczynski. And he is also looking for the same spider. Of course, the mom finds the spider. Under and the ruse of being her security. Yes, yeah. correct. Would be interested to hear how he put an ad in the paper for <laughs> security. <laughs> and it but I, that's it's security hey, detail. I'll, I'll say it. That is nitpicky. That's <laughs> not one of my main but These are the problems. questions you start to ask yourself when a movie's really this, bad. I will say, this is the thing, right, about like, okay, that one. Write it off. No problem. Right. But when they start piling up, yes. every little thing becomes a, yeah. a this massive pile. Yes. Of <laughs> <laughs> but now this character is an amalgamation of two characters. Oh, it is? Morlun. Oh, sure. Morlun and, and, and Ezekiel Sims. Yeah. So instead of. It was like in Straczynski's run on Spider Man, which was kind of up and down, he does create these two characters. One is like basically we find out that there's the this web. And oh. Peter Parker is at the center of this web, and all of these different spider characters are all tied to him. They can't use Peter Parker. The so. web force. The web web of, yeah, kind of. I think we kind of see this in 
Spider Verse. I think it is kind of brought up in Spider Verse. But it's kind of like how Flash has the speed force. Correct. Yeah. Yes. But Ezekiel helps him in the comics here for a while f- from Morloon. Yes. But, initially, but, yes. But here they make Ezekiel and Morloon. Yeah, the same character. Yeah, Morlun is basically eating spider people. So, yeah. have we ever seen a situation where a movie actually drives down the price of the first appearance of a major character? <laughs> <laughs> Probably I am, Morbius. You know, I am, uh, no, that one's never going down. Madam Web could. <laughs> Secret Wars, which is where Julia Carpenter debuts, very well could. Yeah. So she finds the spider, and Ezekiel turns on all of them, uh, takes the spider, and then. We see these spider people. Which is where we learn that Peter Parker is culturally appropriating (laughs) his costume. That's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought, is they show up in, like... He's (laughs) canceled. Except, I think they're American. They speak speak perfect perfect English, English, so maybe not. For people that have never been to uh, America. Well, now that's our... Bias, right? I guess Maybe that's they true. just do this, and Maybe then... we speak perfect spider Peruvian. Yes. Well, no, they <laughs> they get in their little costumes, hop around, do their thing, and then head back to their. And then later, the guy's loft. dressed in normal clothes. He's like, "Yeah, hello, I would be here to teach you how <laughs> right. to." I'm yeah. like, "Wait, this is the it is, indigenous it is Peruvian spider guy that they double down on the red and black." Like costume, and it looks gross. It does. You look know gross. what's wild is seeing the same guys go up and down from the tree six times. <laughs> Did you notice it's, that they just kept replaying? Oh yeah, the it same? was like it yes. was like on the TV series version of V, where they only they didn't have the money like the miniseries, yeah. and so they just kept recycling the same shot of <laughs> oh, a yeah. ship landing. It's like the TV every time. The TV movies of Spider Man. Yeah. Like, look, we can film in like six locations and get this guy on the side of a building, and we're just gonna film for like ten minutes at a time, and we'll just cut it up and yeah. put it in these different movies. CGI in this is real bad. Everything is real bad. I mean, I know, but that... so she has the baby, where and then mm-hmm. dies. It just she like gets, pops she out. Gets, boop, yeah. Shot. Like How? you know, there's there's more to the having a baby than like, like it just popped out it just coming out. She's How, like, like ah. Boop. How do <laughs> how do Peruvian spider people get? A baby mm-hmm. with no birth certificate or passport out of Peru and back to America. And also develop the pictures on her camera and write the <laughs> yes. names. Oh, I was waiting until we got to that. I was like, I couldn't. But, I, I was couldn't like, let but, it. yeah, when as soon as they showed the picture at the end, I was like, it's clearly taken the day that she died because yeah. they're wearing the same clothes. Correct. And Correct. then on and the she's back, like got the spider in her hand. She's like, look, look, look. And you could argue, okay, they dropped her off at an orphanage with this case. They developed the photo, but. It has their names written on the back. <laughs> yeah. So the spider people didn't go like, oh, Ezekiel Sims, he killed your mom. <laughs> well, that's be on the lookout. But there's also yeah. the other, you know, she's got, like you said, she's got this briefcase full of spider stuff, right? All of, all the, the the research her mom was yes. doing. And she's, it looks like she has gone through this book multiple times. Oh, it looks like she's then never she gone through it. Well, that's goes, what I'm But we know that she has. Right. She goes, let's see, let's see, spider people. Los Arachnus, I've never heard of that. You never went one <laughs> word further? But also, if she has this book that has her mom's, these pictures and everything in it, she never saw the picture of her mom and Ezekiel until the moment I Ezekiel mean, starts move, attacking. This movie plays it like she has this case of secret stuff from her mother yeah. who died in childbirth correct, and spent 33 years studiously not touching it correct like having yeah, i'm not ab- gonna, i'm not gonna bother yes with it. i'm winding my way through the foster system mm-hmm. and because we all know we all know this is i think an unspoken problem in this world of how difficult it is for white babies to mm-hmm. get adopted totally um mm-hmm. oftentimes the they wor- just it's, it's no impossible. one no one wants to adopt a white infant <laughs> no. that never occurs nope it's so rare correct and so she was forced to be into the foster system okay so here's the okay so first of all we see adam scott and she keeps calling him ben ben parks and rec (laughs) right but they do this thing with his like uniform where he says paramedic right parker so i keep looking at it and i was like are why are they hiding it right and then i realized they're trying to hide parker because they couldn't use it or something it says paramedic it says paramedic but so are they are Cass- are Cassie and Ben like 
former boyfriend Seems and girlfriend. Like they were friends with benefits or something. Because she's like, he found someone serious. And but I then she says, you're the sister-in-law. Somebody says, oh, you're the sister. And when they go to uh, Mary Parker, who for comic nerds is the mother of Peter mm -hmm. Parker. When she's, they say to Cassie, oh, you're the sister-in-law. So did Ben. Well, she has to be the sister-in-law. So he's so Peter will still have the Parker name. No, no, no. No, they, Ben's they sister say is that to Peter's Cassie. mom. They do? I, ben, that, look, that's I, what hey, I, I don't... Look, I thought somebody looked at Cassie and said, oh, you're the sister-in-law. No. No, ben, I think so they, they said that to, to Mary. To Mary. Emma yeah. Watts, or, or Emma, not Emma Watts. Roberts. Emma Roberts is in this movie. Like, if they were friends with benefits, what the hell is she doing there? Like, why are they still... It's just, it's a very weird to, to somehow get Cassie and Ben... In the same movie. Well, that's what they were. It, it's such a forced way to yeah. cram in a Parker. The, and, like, like Madam Webb isn't supposed to no, be related to these. Cassie, like... And Madam Webb is like this. She is kind of like a mentor to Peter yeah. Parker early in Peter's but career. But when he's born, Spider -Man. she doesn't have a backstory. No! But she dated Ben. No! Like, that's what I mean. They've, they're like, we have these only this few select characters. Because they, characters. Have, they, they have this we moment have to... where they're sitting there talking, eating, and she he's like, hey, I met someone. And, I, and it seemed like she's like, oh, we can't mess around anymore was the vibes I that's got. That's the vibe. And then I heard the sister-in-law line. I was like, wait. But his sister-in-law. That makes sense that Mary would Mary, be the, the, yeah. the sister-in-law. That makes sense. But yeah, and then he won't say her name. He She goes, what's her name? He acts weird. And then she goes, mm, oh, it's that serious. serious. And I'm like, what? Are you, what? What, what, yeah. are we, what are you talking about? <laughs> what is this dialogue? Why? What's Why? happening? Yeah. What's... It was the most ridiculous use of not being able to say the character's name. I names. tell you I... all the names of the women I have <laughs> flings with. Yeah. <laughs> but not the one that I want to marry at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so there's a car accident. She tries to save the guy, falls in the water. Correct, and then her powers start to kick in. Yeah, what what's that all about? Uh, uh, Why does falling in the water activate? I believe it's called a plot device. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've we've seen in uh, other superhero movies. I, I'm thinking about like Superman, where. Mm. Well, it's maybe more or less Smallville. I don't think they do it in the movies. But like when he's in a stressful situation, yeah. that would make a sense power kicks in. If you weren't a paramedic, correct? Has she not? Been, <laughs> this is the first is like, stressful situation. Yeah, right. Do you know right. what I mean? Like it should have came out. Like she. And we I should normally, find out she, in those situations, I take it as like it's a power he had, but didn't didn't realize yeah. he had. Yeah. Until he needed to use it. Right. That's, where. Well, yeah, where this, for, this seems to imply that somehow it like yeah. oh yeah it, it like jump started her. She powers. says she's yeah. like thirty three, right? She says yeah. her age. I mean, yeah, that's, in her early th yeah. In superhero terms, well, I think that's an, like a long time to have have a power and it never was Superman. Right. The 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 theory is it's always it, he hit puberty. Sure. Yeah. And right. then, then his power starts. But he had been in. using it and like not understanding them. So we should have found out that she's like, that's why I've been able to blah 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 as that's a paramedic why I got, for years. Right. That's why I like, got the lottery oh, numbers. You <laughs> always seem to know where to go. Exactly. Or like that's in a better written movie. And speaking of writers, so these oh, writers, boy. Matt Sazama and Bert these, Sharpless. Can I say real quick? Hollywood is weird. The way because who you keeps just, getting work. You just fail upwards. Do you think it's like a blackmail thing where they had a party one time and they just <laughs> saw something? Because they saw Amy Pascal. And they're so, like, we're writing all your bad movies. Gods of Egypt. Terrible. The Last Witch Hunter starring Vin Diesel. Terrible. Dracula Untold. Not terrible. Not 20, good. 25% on Rotten Tomatoes. That so doesn't mean anything. Pretty terrible. Morbius. Terrible. And the Power is, Rangers reboot. Not These guys haven't terrible. made one successful movie. But successful money-wise. Power Rangers was work. successful, wasn't it? I, they never made another one. That's true. I, I mean, that's fair. I don't they, think they, critically they, it was good. They oh, did okay, not okay. make a Power Rangers movie so they could only make, make one. one. Yeah. There wasn't like an auteur involved <laughs> right. that was like, I think this is as far as the Power oh, Rangers tell stories. Once. We can make Zordon go. and Rita lovers yeah. and it'll be fine. And Madam Web. So those are their six films. And, it, you know. It's just there's a track record here, uh -huh. and I don't understand because you look at the writing in this movie, and you're like, oh, this is real bad. And you see that, and you're like, oh, this checks out. But, yeah, the question is why <laughs> oh, are they still – but they're, I think they're producers too, so maybe they got the dough. I, I mean, on, on, if it's all on the level, my guess would be they're very cheap, very fast – they don't mm. care what you you know. They're, if they if the <laughs> they're not studio, fighting. yeah, studio yeah. goes, hey, we're gonna change all this. They go, yeah, it was fine. Go ahead. Well, I got I got that check right. No pushback. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and maybe they're nice fellas. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, true. That's, like that's just not how Hollywood I, works. Yeah. So like the uh, money people. Apparently have, well, it is. But the money but, people have to be going. Like we gotta get a hit here. Like what are we doing? But I do think maybe there is a level of just it's like such low risk. Mm -hmm. If if Gods of Egypt crosses that. 
Yeah, like, like, it's the, cool. yeah, oh, you mean like if there's a number that they have to get to? Well, like, yeah, like, like yeah, Gods yeah, of yeah. Egypt was not like a huge hit movie. Is that Ridley Scott? No. Oh, but like no, maybe no. with its international box office, it ekes out a win. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. Right. Yeah, that, that could that wouldn't Alex make sense. Alex Proyas. Oh, well. Like we have we can't to, all be the crow. We have to earn $50 this month. Well, those guys can get us eight. You know, like yeah. every time. Yeah, there no may problem. be some accounting thing where it's like, okay, they've done it what you know we expected. <laughs> right, right, just, right. I had to take it down to fifty dollars so my brain could <laughs> learn. <laughs> but these movies could be making hundreds of millions of dollars they, opening weekend. Here's it's <laughs> it's crazy to think the same studio that create that put out Spider Verse is the same studio that is doing these movies. And it's the creatives involved. Ooh, but you know they don't maybe too. Spider Verse they say we want you guys to do another one. All of those people go, well, now it costs this much. Uh, Maybe yeah. with these guys, they can never do that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but I mean, like, that's the thing is like, if they have the rights to use Miles Morales, Jessica Drew, Peter B. Parker, mm -hmm. you know, they have all of these spider characters. They could, uh, Spider Man 2099, show like, I'm sure there is somebody out there that can do a Blade Runner knockoff. Right in the look, in the feel, and just make it a Spider-Man movie. Like but, it, but here's to, but the old <laughs> MCU stuff. Like, hey, we want to do Blade Runner, but with Spider-Man, and I'm, it's that's the old MCU way, right? right. Like, we want yeah. swingers, but well, with superheroes or, in it. We want right. the Rocketeer with superheroes. But also, in it. forget the comic book, who you have to know or anything like the characters. It's girl Spider-Man. That's it. Like that's and I people who don't know who Spy or don't like know the. I know Spider Man. I don't know anything else about the comics. Spider -Woman. Oh, this is it's, a woman Spider Man. It's in the title. Like, cool. yeah, it's not the. Yeah. Madam Web almost feels like you would have started with that and then seen a preview and it goes, but no, she's not that. <laughs> yeah. She's, but it is connected to Spider Man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so she shoots webs? It's no, no, no. I it's mean, just her name. In theory, what they're trying to do is like. They're trying to Nick Fury it. They're saying Madam Web is connected sure. to all the Spider people, and that's why pe Nick Fury was the first movie in the in that's MCU. Exactly. Right. That's exactly it. But they thought this could be connective tissue. But when you put out a garbage movie, people are never going to go. Oh, I can't wait to see well, how she connects I, all that. And I also I don't think that there's like a show bible, right? Like I don't oh, think sure, they've sure, already sure. scripted yeah. it all out of like. Here's who these people are that interconnect. So when you write your movies, you you know where you're going. Right. I don't think there's anything like that. But didn't that. we learn no, there's from no DCEU? Map. Like, why, how are they not? I mean, they just had to scrap everything, get a whole new regime in charge. Like, why is Sony and Amy Pascal not sitting here going like, this, this doesn't work? This is their plan to get James Gunn. <laughs> oh, see? He needs to go fix all of them. Yeah. Yeah. They're right now, he, they're combing through his tweets. He loves yeah, doing right. yeah, yeah, yeah. canceled again. Give me something, will so you? they can afford them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember um she drowns, you know, and she dies and she comes back to life. Yeah, three minutes. And so. then and then she goes he they do the whole she has her first vision, right? Yeah. And she's like, Well, I already did this. Each ben. <laughs> and he's like, Why are you being like that? And she goes, She's like, I just want to get home and watch. We're in 2003. Uh, she says, We'll get home Idol. and watch, watch Idol. Idol. I, American Idol is still on. <laughs> I mean, that's true. But it's like so obviously that they're being like, Let them know what year we're in. Well, it's also the needle drops are some of the worst oh, bad. needle yeah. drops I think I've ever so, heard. The, uh, one of the things, when she goes home, what does she end up watching? Do you remember uh, Christmas Carol? Christmas, uh, Christmas Carol. Yeah. yeah. And then, which is great because it was so neat. I I will say this. It was neat to see all the shots of New York at Christmas time because it's so beautiful. Mm, sure. And so all mm. the shots of Rockefeller Plaza yeah. and the tree and the like there, there is nothing like it. Nothing I mean this movie is set at Christmas time. <laughs> not at all. There is not one Christmas Wait, decoration. This None. movie is set at Christmas time. She's watching no. a Christmas carol you on think, television. Okay, but I It's I, gotta be like watching Night of the Living Dead in a horror movie. That's it's, kind of it's public domain. I wonder if it is yeah, like I don't that, think it is. You don't think that version is there's no, no other mention of Christmas. It can't no, be that's they from were like just the doing 50s. It, they it have like a cookout. Be, yeah, they were I having mean, a cookout. Yeah, it's not Christmas. There's no way. They, she is watching. No, you're a absolutely. Christmas I know, but the, yes. but the bad writers are yeah. trying to say, "Here is the ghost of things to come." You can't change. Like she, they're trying to use it oh, as right. a character. Oh. Thing. Oh. But it's not Christmas time. That's right. how bad this movie. Right? Is. No, that's what I'm saying. Is <laughs> right. that like, yeah, like there's not one thing in this movie set at Christmas time. No, they barely. They're not wearing coats. No. They're wearing light jackets. Yeah, it's like fall. Yeah, yeah. It, but it is. I did think that I was like. 
is her is is this version of a Christmas Carol like her her cozy like movie that she no, likes it's to just watch? A, when... It's just a very lazy exposition. That's yeah. all it is. is but this... I mean, like, okay, which is fine. But why is she watching that movie? I know it's it, it's no, like. But my point is like, Joe, do I need to go through no, no, the no, writers' but previous? I'm films? saying <laughs> like, it's, it's it, that's definitely a choice to think. No, a Christmas Carol is like her 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 comfort movie. It's like a time travel movie using Back to the Future, or you know, like they're watching a movie that explains yeah, the wow. rules. And these guys said, "Well, what can we do about people like seeing things that have, are yet to What's come?" What's crazy is that in in this movie, <laughs> in this scene, that means she had to go find that movie. Be like, I'll watch this. No, it has to be on TV. It just has to be in the middle of the fall. It's a fun, nobody funny watches. Thing. Nobody plays a Christmas That's Carol a, in the middle of fall. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> exactly. At the so they, is the baby showers before where are we at baby shower uh, baby shower is before this yes when they go oh. for, okay a couple things she walks up the, her uh not chief what would you call the like, head, captain yeah head. captain he yeah. he goes next time you want to go swimming get in a pool and she's like eh, you're a piece of ass <laughs> and then but then ben Very says nonchalant. ben goes like yeah you died today and then the guy the chief guy goes sounds like there's a story to that <laughs> We're not gonna tell you what but it is. But you though. know it. Well, you... I'm so... no, 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 I'm sorry, Matt. You left out a very important detail. Ben hands her a Pepsi, and from she 2003. said, "She said I would like a beer." And he goes, "Oh no, there's rules against that because you died within 24 hours." But yes. here, have this Pepsi. Yeah. He <laughs> says, <laughs> when... "Well, you know they're drinking like Mountain Dew Code Red at the firehouse. Yeah. It's like how many Pepsi products can we fit into oh, this movie?" I think whenever you make okay product placement should be kind of in the background you know it right. should be like there be but organic. not there product placement should never be a plot point this was this the, was wayne's world well, pepsi's no, the, no, no, no i'm saying wait, like hang this on is, hang so, on <laughs> like product placement is a plot point i would just like to counter argument et that's okay, fair okay 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 but it's fair it, but it's, it's by and large candy. it's gonna suck it has it has to work and that's that we're talking about the climax of a movie, a dramatic yeah. climax, or a throwaway of here. Let me Pep- put these Pepsi yeah. ETs kills the on bad the ground. Guy. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> you cannot make <laughs> it. Cannot be that big. Okay, this movie had an 80 million dollar budget. They needed money that bad that Pepsi had to be the entire movie. Like, it's. I mean, it couldn't be any worse than Superman getting thrown through a Sears. I'm okay I mean, with that's that. Bad. I, I thought I that was like. Up, yeah. I mean, I know you can see it and everything, but like, like it seems. Bl- but there would be a Sears. Like we would there be in a in a town? I guess in a in small a town? town. Okay. I don't know if there's also a world, the IHOP got destroyed, but <laughs> if yeah. there's a world where every single person on the planet drinks <laughs> Pepsi except Sydney Sweeney, I believe, who never opens her Pepsi, she carries it around. Yeah, she's a Coke person. She goes. Yeah, right, she right. like goes to open it. I don't know if it's like a prop can or something, but she never does it. <laughs> Yeah. Also, oh, Pepsi also, also. At the baby shower. At the baby yeah. shower, why would she put in a blank piece of paper? Oh, who's How about this? just oh, not fine. put the paper in? Would and you, then they could, could still they could still say like it could have been at the end of the game, and they go, "Wait, we didn't get one from you." And they can still do the whole because it was kind of funny when she's like, "My mom's dead." <laughs> but do you realize that? This movie throughout the entire thing is written like no humans have ever conversed in the history of real humanity. It's when someone says my mom's dead, people would go, "Oh, I'm so sorry." Whatever. They look at her like oh, awkward, gross. Yeah, like oh. ew. Like no How one, dare you? No humans interact like that. All of them would go, "Oh, I'm so sorry." Like you'd be a normal human well, being. And some yeah. of it is, I think that scene is supposed to be funny. Yeah. It's just the director didn't tell the actors. Well, that. I think I think there Dakota are, Johnson knew that. I, I think, don't know. Like hmm. the. the like, while it's fun to pick apart the writing, mm-hmm. the acting in this movie is bad. It is it's bad. Like, oh, sure. like you you can tell, you can just watch them losing their will to live uh-huh. as they go through this film. Oh, and- Dakota Johnson is like, and I, you know, I've only seen her. I, I think she's really good in Suspiria. I liked her in, there was something else. I liked her in that streaming movie we watched her when she was the girlfriend. Remember the guy, the writer director who was... She plays the the girlfriend. They meet at a party because I don't know she needs the tampon, and he hands her one through the door. 
I have no idea what that is. God, you weren't here, I don't think, oh, for that one. Okay. It was a streaming, maybe Dodged it was an Apple bullet. movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was really oh, good. Yeah, it was yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. It was a cute movie. Yeah, the, I, and I got it. Writer, director is the star, and he's right. younger, and he's at a party. He's like a caterer or whatever, yeah. like parties. Oh, Party yeah. Down. Great show. Yeah, and she's yeah. a mom. Yeah. Also with. Uh, hey, Adam Scott. Oh, Adam Scott. I, I, yeah. I think he makes it through this fairly. Oh, unscathed. Adam Scott is the only one in this movie yeah. who is but, like, fine. <laughs> her energy level. It's oh, and And then the problem is, especially with the. When she when she gets the other girls involved, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like they meet her where she's yeah. at. Yeah, I right. mean, you guys are, are so s- annoying. I gotta there tell are you. scenes in this movie where it, honest to God, looks like they're filming a rehearsal. Yeah, like it just feels I, like a walkthrough. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> I understand the appeal of Sydney Sweeney, but she's but, awful. But oh, don't yeah. use her. What? Why cast that's Sydney Sweeney? Also, right. I'd like to that's ask you. That's mind boggling. I would like Is to ask you, you. I think sh- her and Zendaya. Are probably the two most popular actors on that show. Jacoby, whatever his name is, right? He's oh on yeah, Jacoby. Yeah. Jacoby, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, Jacoby Johnson. Jacoby Johnson. Jacoby. Yeah. Jacoby Johnson. Yeah. Right. Uh, Sydney Sweeney, I think, is more popular than Z- Zendaya right now. No. In this moment, well, yeah. especially like after in, that movie, anyone but movie? you. Well, I will oh. say I d- I did not know who Sydney Sweeney was really before this movie, but she's which in Euphoria. is not necessarily. Yeah, she, I mean, yeah, but she's... that movie is blowing up. It's still in oh, theaters. The, the, yeah, no, that movie's Powell. doing very well. Mind yeah. you, yeah. two months ago it came out. Yeah. Also, been... cast that guy as Hal Jordan already. Oh, he's great, Glenn Powell. He's, he's fantastic. Great. He's great. Yeah, charismatic as all get out. Yeah, but the point is, and I I get that she's like a high schooler, and props to them for. I not did not making... get that for <laughs> well, no, about twenty minutes. I, I get that right, but when you know, it's like okay, so you're not being gross. That's good, you know. T- she is a high schooler, but why cast Sydney you, Sweeney? You change her hair color. You put her in glasses. You put her in oversized clothing. So she, like, well, I think well, when they cast her, she wasn't that big of a deal. But then also, oh. and you're right, oh, maybe. But they put her in. The clothes, but then also, th- like thigh high stockings. Thigh high stockings. Like, well, the we, whole time she's doing? in a short, short skirt, and you're uh-huh. like, "Why are you wearing this?" I did not understand. It's 2003. Kevin. Also correct. She looks like Britney. She's. Dressing I know, but like she's Britney wearing Spears. a. She's totally covered up, but then has a short, but, short. And skirt. it's crazy because they. I finally figured out that these girls are supposed to be like extremely obvious archetypes: rich girl, nerd. And then smart girl. Oh, you picked up on that. Uh, uh, but it, but it, but not right away because like there's it just didn't. I just thought there were nothing. I just thought it was like three girls. The only one that I thought gave a throughout this entire this entire thing was the is, smart one. Was the smart one? She was, was the best was, one. Yes, she is one of the amazing. Actually, she debuts in like Amazing Fantasy 15, but a different one. Like I guess not the, not the real one. I know different. all their dialogue was Isabella like, Marsage. Yeah, was I good. thought she was. I thought she held her own. I thought she was really good. I don't know. I guess just like I, w- I wasn't. I didn't know I was supposed to know that her being like science, saying the word science. I, I don't <laughs> she know, had man. A, she had a, a nerd shirt on, yeah. just like just like Peter Parker does in mm, his man. movies. <laughs> nerd t shirt. So so I think she becomes Spider Girl in the comics. Her character. It's no. There, uh, it's so confusing because she has a different name now, but she does like she d- kind of takes that role as the the female spider character. They take I think it's Aranya. Yes, it? yeah, that's who she becomes. But then she later b- goes by Spider Girl. I think I don't remember. Like that's the problem is they're using like again these fringe characters. Yeah, there are the Julia Carpenter character who becomes Madam Web in the comics. Yeah. Like much later, but she's a Spider Woman. Yes, and then becomes Spider she's Madam Web. Madam Web. And the other one is a Spider Woman as well. Yes, but then there's also Jessica Drew. Who is a, a ma- like? So there has to be something to where MCU is like, don't use that one. If they're not using them yeah, specifically, maybe. they're holding them. There's got to be know. certain names they've got held out. Yeah, they I, just have May, could, May and Peter Parker are two of them for <laughs> sure. Um, what's his name? Oh, what's his name? Oh. <laughs> but it's also his middle name is Ben. His Peter's middle name is Benjamin, yeah. so it's like there's no mention of like I na- we named him after you. Well, they they play that name game and they do the they have one person guess and then they turn they're like girl that we don't know. <laughs> do you have a guess? <laughs> and I thought for sure they're going to say Peter. Now I do want to give this movie. She's a Pepsi executive's daughter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I want to give this movie props um, when it should get them. I thought it was really cool. There's a villain in this movie. 
and they have this really meta power for him because it's all about time travel and stuff. Mm -hmm. And his power is that after the movie's filmed, he can, from the future, add in lines. Oh, is that his power? <laughs> okay. I think so. it must be, right? I, I was <laughs> like, did this character not speak English? Like, it was... I the, the so ADR weird. on his Real voice bad. is so weird. I think they had to have changed the entire script after yeah. filming because I believe it's the same guy, but almost all of his lines are ADR'd. Yeah. And at first I thought it was like, oh, he must have a heavy accent. And they're like, well, we have to redub this. You know, because... I, it sounds like someone we've talked about before that has an accent that's trying to push through it to yeah. do the American accent thing. But uh, no, it's just like they must have changed complete plot points because they edit when he's talking most times. They don't show him They talking. never show his face. So it's clearly like they're like, we have to use this footage to now rewrite right. the movie. And he's this billionaire out to catch Madam Webb. And he, no, 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 he wants, the, he wants the girls. Girls. He's trying to get yeah. the girls, right? In yeah. fact, and, he's, and he has one employee to help him. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's David Mamet's daughter. When she says, is that for real? Who David that Mamet's is? daughter? Yeah, yeah she's, she was on Girls, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. She was Shoshana, okay. Shoshana, the, Shoshana. Yeah. The woman goes, "I I can't find the girls, but I found the woman who's helping them." And he goes, "I don't care about her." <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's, that, that is the weirdest thing ever. That he's like, "Who's this?" And she's trying to stop them, and but like she's invincible like he's never gonna go they after also, madam Webb. They also de so like later in the movie dakota johnson is helping these girls you know ben is watching the girls uh mary goes into labor um and they're driving through the city there's this whole point where ezekiel who is wearing a spider-man suit so it's like the idea that peter parker came up with that suit on his own yeah, this right? makes no sense because people would have now seen a Spider-Man before right. Spider-Man exists. So then Spider-Man shows like, up, they're like, He's Wait a, a villain. Minute. <laughs> That's what it, it, it's horrible. It makes no so, sense. You can't have him blowing things well, up around the J. city. J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, but now he, he, he was ahead he, of the curve. He's vindicated. <laughs> he's vindicated because... <laughs> oh, that's the girl's uncle, by the Is way. Is that what yeah. that was? That's the girl's uncle. Okay. Okay. Because right. right. they definitely okay. say Jonah, and yeah. I was like, Her oh, rich, I missed rich. that. She's yeah. rich, and she's let me call my uncle Jonah. Oh, oh I yeah. totally missed that. And then that. we see the bugle. Okay, so, so okay, but she gets on the train. Who would what? care if a murderer was after? The whole part where they're like, we don't got nobody. Yeah. Let's call J. Jonah Jameson. Absolutely do. This is different. I understand your parents are weird because you're adopted. Well, you're not adopted. No, you're they're your in China. Kid. They're in China. A different one. Different one. Oh. <laughs> the other one. But this is different. You're being murdered. Yeah. Anyway, I go, think, go I think your go uncle, ahead. who is the news reporter, yeah, might, might be want... interested in well, this and, story. And to be fair, she tries to call, and Dakota Johnson takes her flip phone and throws it out the window and says, they can track you on these no, things. No, separate so. thing. I... Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, like, for but, the plot-wise. Okay. But they... in, that, in that scene, the, I thought... She was like, "You, you get her to the hot. You get tells Ben and Mary get out of here right now, because you know she's not gonna. He he's not gonna be after you." My thought process is was, oh, Peter is like they're Peter. Is, this guy knows oh. who Peter is going to be, so he's try, He's like if if well, I, he's if, like King Herod. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, he's trying to stop Peter from being born. Yes, that. If that's he's got what the, I thought. Sure. Oh, if he's that's got been powers, a good movie. Yeah. You also, should write Gods of Egypt too. <laughs> I think there's a version of this movie where Ezekiel Sims is not Black Suit Spider Man. Oh, interesting. They cut from Black Suit Spider Man doing bad stuff, and then cut right back to him in full suit and tie. Right. When business. they get to the subway scene, right? Yeah, and, yeah. And you see Black Suit. Oh, he does. Yeah, you're I right. I thought it was. The Spider Man from Peru. Yeah. Because okay. the way it's edited, like trying to yeah. protect them. it looks like there's multiple Spider Man. And he's like moving thought, like. Yeah. yeah. And so I thought, like, oh, they're going to think these guys are out to get him, but they're really here Self, to help him. I think there's definitely a different oh, cut of this movie. Because they, they cut back to him and he's like calling, you know, yeah, David Mammoth's daughter and he's like in a full suit. It's like, well, you weren't no wearing shoes. that under. Well, he never wears shoes. He's like Dexy's yeah. Midnight Runners. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was so quick to where it's like, well, where were you wearing the suit? It couldn't have been under it because that suit's tight, the Spider Man suit. But then where you went and changed like it was just a weird time yeah. thing where oh. i think it was supposed to head fake the audience uh. that's him no he's protecting the girls in madam web and bad guys after him see and i okay. think at some point they completely rewrote the script to have it be the same person put the, the suit characters. on for one one scene he's you see him in the suit without the mask on right that's right, more right. than now, madam here, web gets here's yeah. a oh boy well, here's a uh <laughs> this is a nitpick but now oh. it's no, too bring late. It. it's no, piled bring up it. yeah <laughs> when they get in the car they're taking mary what's her mary 
to the hospital. They all first of all they put the pregnant woman in the back. I also, thought that was kind of like that was crazy. What are you doing? Yeah, put her in the front. But then <laughs> Ben's like getting in. He's not in. They're not started yet. And he goes like, "All right, everybody, buckle up." And Mary goes, are you serious? Just drive. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's so and weird. also, he's having, like, this panic moment of, like, oh, my God, she's having a baby. And I'm like, you're a fuck EMT. <laughs> yes. Like, you're right. a paramedic. Yes. And that's not yes. even yes. delivered <laughs> babies. Wait, the taxi cab. Hold the... Oh, thank you for bringing what? that up. <laughs> she prized the license plate off of a cab that has its number on the on top. The and the top, the roof <laughs> On the thing. roof, yes. it lights and, up. And if I drive out of here... With a stolen car with the plates on, or a car with no plates. Yeah. I yeah. think that's going to attract... But okay, okay, wait. But she takes that cab to the airport and yes. leaves it. And then when she comes and back from the airport... And as a wanted woman flies... Yes. When, yeah. After 9-11. We are only two years two post 9-11 yeah. at this point. And she's got an APB out for her. Yes. She goes to Peru. And then when she comes... Okay, and, which and don't I gotta tell you. When she gets to Peru... The the Peruvian Spider Man who hasn't seen her since she was still dripping in placenta <laughs> is like I knew you'd be back. I'll I but can that's because he's a mystic. He's a mystic. I can, guy. I can yeah, let that. that slide, but when she, so, okay, powers, so she has to is. fly from New York to Peru, uh -huh. right? Not a short flight, I no. don't think. Has to do her little thing in Peru. Flies back to the United States. Also. Let's conservatively say it's been four days. Yeah, it's right? gotta be sometime. That cab well. is still at the airport. <laughs> And then without, a license, without a license plate, and she's got the and she drives that <laughs> thing back to New York, but then sees an ambulance and goes, "Ooh, baby, okay, <laughs> that's yeah. what I want." Yeah, I would like to know that whole thing where, like, okay, okay, first well, we should, let's get back to the end of the movie because that's the very end. But anyway, yeah. she saves the girls on the train. She has a vision that. Ezekiel is going to come kill the three girls. So when they're on the train, she, like a crazy person, is like, everybody, get, you're going to die. You, all, and starts you know what? All she up. has to do is, I'm a medic with the with the New York yeah. Fire Department. There is an emergency. Everybody well, off the train. It worked. I yeah. mean, I, I guess, guess. that thing worked. <laughs> but so she picks them off, and now the cops are after her, and Ezekiel's like on the train like, no, you know, and they all see him as he goes by. Cops are going to, like, arrest her, but then Black Suit Spider-Man comes and kills slash kills all those yeah. yeah whatever all the cops they get away and now she's like i'm gonna go this isn't a kidnapping by the way but i'm gonna go but you can't leave and go stay in this forest go stay in the woods and she's like i'll, I'll be right back a couple hours she three, hours. She's three says, hours she says i'll three be back hours. in three hours and in this time they build it, a campfire well they have they have but, nothing <laughs> and they know nothing about being outside but they build a campfire but even more impressive it becomes front page news. Yes. Oh, yeah. On real, in the time. <laughs> real quick. On the Daily Bugle. Because she left him there for like 18 hours. Like the crazy thing is she's like, I'll be right back. She leaves him there all day. And then they're like, here, I know how to get out of the forest Wait. that exits right at this diner. <clears throat> but here, and <laughs> hang on. When they leave the forest, they don't put out the campfire. They no, they don't. I, I thought they the just, same thing. I was going <laughs> to walk away from a campfire. That's, that's a good thing when you're trying Isn't to. that diner? The same name of the diner that Mary Jane's working at in Spider Man Two. Oh, I don't know. Because like I was, I'm like they have to. There's something they've got to like find. Four star diner, four star diner which is clearly they just named that thing to game Yelp. Yeah, right, right. right but right. it's gotcha. Not, I mean, it's not in the same universe though, so you can't really. I mean, no, I mean, like, but this there would are be like Spider -Man there are existing. Spider Man this, musical cues. I think this is uh, a pre existing set that they didn't have oh. to build. You mean and like so, you mean like the the caves? Yeah, they didn't build that. There's right. no way. So like, I think it's just like, oh, we already have a diner set, and right. that's what they used in the same way that like you see sets get reset. You know, like one of the sure. the Wisteria Lane and Desperate Housewives sure. is the same street is it, as it's like Back to the Future and Leave something? It to Beaver and oh the uh, the the Good Place. They use that set all the time for towns. Isn't that the yeah? Agatha it's, want, oh, that's Vision. Universal. It's Hill, it's Hill Valley. Yeah, it's yeah. Universal. Because yeah. yeah. I was. I took a backstage Man, tour I'd of Universal love, Studios. I'd love to go through there. So bummed. I took oh. a backstage tour of Universal Studios, um, like the actual in LA where they actually film things. Yeah. And they had it all set up for the good place. <sighs> but I had never seen oh, the good sure. place. Oh. So you so I any didn't of it. realize where we were until I got home and watched the show and was like, No. If I had realized <laughs> where we were at, we would have been taking pictures. Yeah. Like Did crazy. they call it Hill Valley? They showed us like you can see the 
the the clock tower yeah. and the like because they repurposed that all. It's the whole place is set up to be quickly repurposed. Okay. And so, like if you want your courthouse steps to look like small town, mm-hmm. they can like in a day like make it look like cinder block, and then they can take it down and make it look like old timey brick, and then take it. Interesting. Like, yeah, and so. Um, but they film tons of yeah, stuff there. Yeah. yeah. So they get to the diner, and Madam Webb sees the vision of Ezekiel oh, we're coming singing, through. We're going to sing Toxic. We're going to yeah. make Sydney Sweeney okay. look like Britney Spears. Toxic. Let's. So she's in the cab, and the DJ says, uh-huh. "Here's a brand new song. Yeah. I think it's going to be a yeah. hit." Smash cut to the girl saying, "I love this song. Yeah. I know all the words." Yeah. <laughs> well, is it a brand new song, yeah. or is it? And a hit? also, Britney Spears was was already established at that point. She wasn't. That wasn't uh, her first song. No, no. Toxic was not her first song. No, but I think she, it was the lead single off that record. But, right, but, but Sydney w- Sweeney is dressed like Britney Spears, like in I the mean, "Hit Me Baby One More Time" yeah. video. I mean, kind of, yeah. But, I mean, she is. They try when they pull her shirt up. Right. She is. Yeah. yeah. Like she's a private. She's in a private yeah. school, yes. and then they modify her outfit to make yeah. her look right. like Britney. Spears. Hey, why? Uh, so the Aziku comes and kills everybody, yeah. right? And, and now then, this is the diner where they encourage dancing on the table. Yeah. It's You're fine. Just Could you to do imagine that. for three minutes? Fine. Just just let these girls dance yeah. up on three no, girls on a it's table. Fun. It's fine. They're like, hey, this ain't a Waffle House. <laughs> like that, those employees so we all a saw star, This is a four star diner. And they then, never cut to employees during that no. dance sequence ever. Madam Webb goes. I mean, I guess it was a vision, but it very much seems like she goes back in time. She saved the pigeon, and then she decides this time I'll drive there because it'll be a little bit slower. Oh, thank you. They call yeah. it a shortcut, but that's not the girl. Like it's she's half so a in, mile. Okay, but in her vision, she gets there before, like when she's walking. Yeah, right. She gets there before Ezekiel does. Yes. In real life, she's like, okay, I'll take well, the car. I'll get there faster. She gets there slower. No, I think there it must be an ADR line. Why, as they're walking through, the girls go, "I thought you said this was a shortcut," and she's like, "It is." I think that was to. Fix that, but in like, the vision, they're in a, the first time she goes through the woods, she gets there faster because it's a short. Right, Madam Webb gets through there in her vision, walking, and she goes, "I need to go slower this time." <laughs> and now she drives three hours around the way, but so, oh, like it's even ridiculous. Though they say it's half a mile down the road. Half a mile, you could see it. She drove like, <laughs> so long to get there, and then cuts that truck off to take a turn. Okay, like she this woman's taken driving anyway. She's yeah. driving through the woods. Drive right through the shortcut. Here's the thing: you have a you have an i you have a movie. About a, someone who has visions, right? And then I they think absolutely so. reference Final Destination 2 uh, yeah, right. with this scene. Yeah. Well, like the whole log truck, I was like, oh, those are going to pop off. Like that's, that's mm-hmm. going to be part of the things that she sees. No. No, it's no. just ridiculous. She just does something real dangerous for no reason. But the, the radio is like going staticky and she's slapping it going, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> like that's how she's timing what? it. What? I don't. I, is that. Yeah, she's timing it. So, like, in her... in Wow. So, in the vision, she hears yeah. a certain part of Toxic in the diner. So, when she's at the campfire, Toxic is just starting. That song would have certainly been over by the time yes. she took her road trip. Here's the thing. The, point. the radio a- station would have cut it off, like, 30 seconds... Not 30 seconds, but, like, five seconds before the song is even over anyway. Yeah, the timing is just horrible. We just I had it, no idea that's what she... I just yeah. thought she's, like... When she just drove as fast as she could, it wasn't like she like stopped and was right. Yeah, it's, time to doubt. So, so the way that she saves them is she plows through the diner, runs over Ezekiel and everybody else in the diner. But, okay, so Ezekiel has this power where he poisons you if he touches you. So I think with her, I I do think that which they make no reference of since she also got bitten by the spider. That she must have some immunity to that poison. It like, doesn't affect her as much. It, yeah, she's because she does mess their arm. I mean, he she's does. like, it hurts. Yeah, but... and then she does that, and they go, what's wrong with your arm? And she's like, nothing, but nothing. Then it, and then five seconds later, she's like, better. so it's poison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, I thought it was just strange how this poison works. Now, I know that when he was with Opera Lady, he holds her arm, and he's like, I'm going to... You know, I'm gonna keep holding this until you tell you me. You talk about the NSA agent. Yeah, that's like, yeah. oh, you want to kill some girls, man? Yeah. Well, do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> that also. So, he, jumping back a little bit, he gets the NSA agent, uh, gets her password, so he can get into this supercomputer that that uh, ba- Batman looks at everybody. Dark Knight, right? Like it's the same. This, we had to be post 9/11. This is so post. Yeah, this. exactly. The woman at the computer goes. Now this is 
because because I'm thinking the whole time he's like, well, this isn't gonna help. You don't know. You don't have a picture of them. But she says, well, from the the best from your memory, this is what they look like. <laughs> That's exactly. What <laughs> and it's photos of them. Pictures it's of, photos them. of them. <laughs> Not like let me almost de- recreations. Let me, de-age, let me de-age them and take their masks off, and I will get an exact picture of what they look like. She goes to Peru. We talked about that. She figures out how to use okay, her powers. She leaves the girls with Ben. Yes. To protect and them. And Ben and Mary. Now Mary is pregnant and has to go to the hospital. Why do they take the three girls Leave the with girls them? girls there. They were safe the entire yeah. <laughs> time where no one know where to find yeah. them. And I know they don't know about NSA, whatever. But why would you think, yes, let's all pack them up and bring them in public well, where they're wait, in wait, danger? In 2003, and it, like, that whole thing was like a thing, right? What's that? Like the whole NSA, like yeah. cameras everywhere. Like, That's that why was like a, But I mean, like yeah. that was like a news thing where people were talking about an invasion of privacy am i wrong about that i don't i mean i guess i I wouldn't have necessarily thought oh when i walk outside they're gonna get my face on an atm camera or something from everywhere i guess i felt like that was like becoming a thing where people were getting either way they're they're hiding they are hiding out why do they have to go to the hospital and then they call he's like oh it might be a while or whatever and it's like the ambulance gets there a minute after they leave. They yeah, literally they could have just waited for the ambulance. Right. They right. talk about it like they're in the middle of nowhere. Like right. they're, they're, they're like, well, Ben, he's going to be with Mary. They're going to be far away. But yeah. then when they well, leave, they're that, in Times Square. But they're in, so yeah. if, I mean, if um, Spider-Man lore, correct me if I'm wrong, Ben and May live in Queens, right? I mean, they should. I would so they're in Queens. So. But this is, oh, is this Ben's house? Yes. Okay, she's staying at Ben's house. Got it. it so, like, this house should be in Queens. Yeah. They shouldn't get to New York City that fast anyway. Yeah. Either way, they sh- the, the ambulance, I mean, they should. I guess uh, you could say that Ben and Ben and May buy a house in Queens. I guess you is, could say that. This is also the uh, around the part where Dakota Johnson uh, teaches them all how to do CPR. CPR. Okay, that, again, going back to the writing. It's like, well, who's going who's gonna to die yeah. of a heart attack first? Check off CPR. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and also, it's just weird. When she was giving the guy CPR... When the chief gets killed yeah. in the car accident, I was, I mean, and again, movie stuff. I know she you're not caused sp- that accident, by the way. Oh, yeah. absolutely. She stopped him yeah. to talk to him. Yep. Let me drive. No, you're crazy. Whatever. He leaves and gets hit by a truck. If and she, dies. Had, if if she, she didn't waited. talk to him, yeah. he'd have made it. So like, I mean, now, I, that being said, those powers were very new to her. That's true. Right. Oh, so, no, yeah. I know. I, I'm just saying like in. Right. In all actuality, right. it sucks so, because she caught If she it. had shut her pie hole, he'd have been <laughs> Now, I'll, I have gotten past the whole, like, you can't do real chest compressions in a right. movie. Right. right, right. Although it does seem like... Switch the body out. Manic- but right. whatever. Yeah, sh- but she's, like, doing chest compressions, and then she'll stop and kind of look around <laughs> and, like, get back to it. And then, even at the end of it, Nothing happens. She just kind of goes like, all right, buddy, you're all right. You're good. <laughs> that right. was the craziest part but, where she's doing chest compressions on that guy. And then out of nowhere, she's like, you're good. And the guy's like, enough. thanks. And like gets up and walks well, away. No, like, she goes to the, she, she says to the other paramedics, which I'm not sure why they weren't handling this, but she's like, okay, you can move him now into the ambulance. It's like, why don't you like get him ready to go in the ambulance and then try to save him? When like, she goes, what? okay, buddy, you're all yeah. right. It's like, that's not how that works. So, but, so, but okay. So CPR is bad in movies. Sure. Yeah. But then you have a scene where you're going, basically saying, "Hey, remember how we were doing CPR in the movie? Yeah. It's we did it bad. You you can't stop. Don't ever stop. <laughs> like like I did. Now this movie was sponsored earlier. by Pepsi and the American Red Cross. So I just want to let you know that is that minutes, right? No, but I mean it should have been like to, to stop the movie and have a scene where it's like if someone's heart. If someone's heart stops, <laughs> you can save them. And if you get tired, you switch out. And then to have the whole climax of the movie be a mirror of that stupid scene. So bad. You could have worked that in organically. They could have. And I'm just saying, yeah, you're, that yeah, a, for it's a sure. horrible moment. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. So, so he like attacks them in Times Square. On and the way again, to the this is the part where she's where she tells Ben and Mary, "Get out of here now!" Yeah. Hits him with like, a car again. Also, again. <laughs> very va- very okay, very bad villain Ezekiel Sims. Yeah, uh, he knows nothing about maybe kidnap the person that the be- that the good guys care about, and nope. then maybe because she's like, he won't care about he won't you. Care about you. But it's like you know what? If you just took them and were like, and, yeah. But so, yeah, they there's a big they go back to this warehouse where they had this massive the fire. car scene. I thought the only cool, clever thing in the movie was she's like charge the. the oh, panels. I like that. That yeah. was I'm like, and then, okay. and then I mean, it would short out the electrical system. Correct. The vehicle she's in, but <laughs> movie wise, though, I mean, <laughs> it was the only thing well, or continue very possibly 
not do anything. Right. Right. Like, but movie wise, like sure, movie sure. chasing and movie like, logic. How, how do we stop this guy hopping from car to car, charge the car so he lands on it and gets electrocuted? I just thought, well, that's something. They that's did the most have an extremely thing. condensed version of the like charge the paddles. Why? There's no time. Like, just yeah. do it. <laughs> but then tells her, then says, yeah. we're going to do this thing. Like, yeah. now you're just showing off. All right, maybe a little. Um, yeah. She When she crashes out of the parking garage through a billboard onto Oh, yeah, Ezekiel right, Sims. right, right. And then, and then she's shocked that the ambulance won't run. Yeah. Like, they, <laughs> well, they drive under a bridge, and they're just like, why will this but work? so was I, because the movie has told me a taxi cab is indestructible, <laughs> yeah. can do anything. Props to them for on the taxi making the hood a little bit off jar. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I noticed that. I'm like, okay, someone at least didn't make it look but like I, an immaculate. Yeah. I do think that's kind of true, right? Like, it's like in an action movie where suddenly someone's out of bullets, and you're kind of like, well, I didn't know you could run out of bullets <laughs> in this world. <laughs> like, cars get destroyed. This is crazy. Right. If it looks fine... In my mind, if it seems like it should run fine, should well, th- this movie also does the horrible thing? The we talk about movies all the time, where when Black Suit Spider Man is chasing the girls, and then someone else interferes, like the cops. It's like, well, maybe just don't worry about them. Just go kill the ones <laughs> yeah. that are right there that you're trying to kill. We'll kill all these people, but it's like they're right there. They're right there. You have crazy powers where you run around, like just run up and snap them. Yeah, that's all you got to do. It. It's like, not that hard. Did did you did you guys know that she resented her mother until the dream sequence nope. thing? No. Had no idea. No, <sighs> that was neat. Like, oh, oh that's a, also, okay, cool. Yeah, that, the acting was terrible in that first scene with the woman. Thank you for the umbrella. Oh, oh right, right. It was, it was so the writing I know is really, but the acting was bad. And then we're like, wow, this lady is really not nice. And they flash back, and you're like, well, yeah, she was mean. Of course, she hated her or whatever. And then she's like. Oh, but she was trying to cure me, like the head flip thing they tried to do. Yeah, yeah, I have this incurable neurological disease. But thanks, mom. I guess, I, like you, you did this for me. I oh, think you did my, it all for me. My favorite line, I think, was, <laughs> "Where? What is it?" She goes, "Powers? The girls? The girls have powers in the future? <laughs> powers? Yeah. They she just says it. Over. Have it? Girls? Powers? <laughs> And then ha- they at least twice tried to say power and responsibility. In this they did movie. it. Yeah. Well, th- again, he's like, yeah, if you take on the responsibility, you will get the power. Like the, I literally twice. I audibly went oh, but, off. But twice they like reworked the it theater. a different time. They too. did. Yeah. And oh, it's the no. I think they don't have the rights to that phrase right. either. And they have to dance around it, too. It's the same quote. It's she's remembering him saying that. Oh. That's what it is, and it's like, okay. I, but whatever, they just need to cut it out on that. Yeah, one. like you get it, you get the one. But see, what they should have had is had Ben hear that and go, "Oh, that's a pretty good line." <laughs> yeah, it's a good line. <laughs> that's a pretty good line. Actually, I think I can me, use that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna workshop that. Okay, I'm gonna try so to make it better. This place that they lure Black Suit Spider Man into, you know, uh, the Pepsi Co. Fireworks yeah. factory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that yeah. the place from yeah. the beginning that they yes. said was a death that's trap? Where, that's where Mike Epps was killed. Are they storing yeah. fireworks? You see the Pepsi sign there. What, yeah. are, what are they doing there? What What is the a warehouse? I assume fireworks, where, fireworks warehouse. And I'm gonna yeah. guess yeah. that the Pepsi thing is just advertising, <laughs> right? But I, I'm just saying, like, what is that warehouse's purpose? That is storing dynamite, fireworks. I mean, they were killing like they were massive. Like fireworks, don't it, usually blow. Yeah, walls. Breaks no, a they brick were, wall they, down. Not yeah. just. I mean, well a strategic spot in a brick wall that's literally just like a hole. Like it doesn't, yeah. you know, when when you when you blow something up, a hole doesn't form. It's not just like, oh, here's a perfect and square. In Looney Tunes it does, and <laughs> Roger Rabbit it does. <laughs> right. But I, what I'm saying is like they were storing it's a dynamite warehouse in the middle of New York I don't City. Know. I like, thought it what was is this specifically place? fireworks. Which that's really what I did. But those fireworks I are know. insane then. <laughs> oh, it's like the million dollar ones yeah. that they do big shows yeah, yeah, yeah. on. So they yeah. could blow a building up. Yeah. It's like legit. It's a, it's okay. the, it's but the, I don't think a fancy one. They're getting ready for New Year's Eve. Yeah, right, right. I don't think a single one could blow down a brick wall I, those big ones i mean the ones they do shows like on the commercial are grade explosions. vp fair kind of ones but, maybe oh those absolutely yeah can. no yeah. They, yeah. Go yeah. Way, they go that high no, dude, dude they go up in the air and explode like those the, the ones you see on like the fourth of july those could if you, you will die you will, absolutely you will die well you'll go blind and oh. paralyzed and Paralyzed, which they that. don't reference I, at all. I can't like, believe that. Happen? Honestly, I can't believe they did it because you you see her and she's like, okay, she's not. You know, blind. usually when she's we say paralyzed. that, it's like I can't believe they got the Guardians of the Galaxy to work. I can't believe Ant Man. I can't believe they pulled that off. And this one, you're like, I cannot believe. But you're like, <laughs> I totally believe. But you're like, they they totally sidestep the fact that Madame Web is blind and paralyzed. The whole movie. You're like, okay, right. they want her in more movies. Like we'll just kind of forget about that. And I thought, oh, the mom cures her, so like that's our rewriting way around Correct. it. And then they did it. And I'm the, like, well, okay, that's bizarre. 
it also breaks her brain to talk like Professor X. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. So 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 she sees a premonition. Look, man. Throw all these fireworks in here. Yeah. We're gonna explode them. So they go through this wacky Rube Goldberg device. Get on the roof, and then she sees a vision that the Pepsi sign is gonna crash the villain. Correct. Which also she keeps seeing an S like earlier in the movie. Yeah. Oh, you mean like Spider Man? I guess. Yeah. But then they have an S. Like she sees the S, and it falls and knocks him down. Mm-hmm. But then he gets crushed with the. P, and it seems like oh, S and P. See, that's... well, it, it just seems like you would have made the S do the whole thing. Like <laughs> that would be your thought, yes. <laughs> or was then an I gonna fall, and then a D, and yeah, then an right, E. Right, see, right. they they cut out the whole thing. Pepsi was gonna give him a hundred million, and it was gonna be a P, then an E, okay. and a P, and, and they said no, we'll only give you eighty. And they're like, okay, so right, it's fine. just so weird to see an S through the whole thing. And then the S does, like I said, it does kind of a thing. It kind of makes fake. it fall. But then the, I, but it's not. You're supposed right? to think it's Spider Man, but it's Pepsi. That's, uh, that's, how, that's how brilliant this film is. Okay. So, so yeah, so they they tell the the, the Peruvian Spider Man says, look, you're going to develop a power where you can be in multiple places at the same time, and neither of those places will be a good movie. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So we see her do it during this showdown. She somehow astral projects herself and this is again and at least they had him punch her but like i'm like she's standing there and ezekiel's there like watching her just (laughs) kill her like i mean and i know i don't want our hero to die but like in Eh. movie terms villains here she's here doing stuff against him just freaking lunch and kill her and none of the girls needed help they weren't like dangling by their hands. They were all sort of like. Oh, one was hanging above the fireworks place in flames. Like she needed help being pulled up. But for wasn't sure. she like over the? No. Like oh, you like under her arms? No, oh, that yeah. girl. One of them was hanging like two hands above Maybe. a bar. Maybe either way. Well, still and she didn't know gymnastics like the raptor girl in Lost yeah. World. So <laughs> one of them knows taekwondo. That that's came, right. That you know what? That came back exactly zero times. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> right. mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, so they they beat Ezekiel. Uh, Cassandra Webb is thrown off the top of this building into the water, I guess, by and then gets hit with a firework in mm-hmm. the water in the shoulder. I, I thought it hit her in the face. Did it? I think so. Oh, because okay. it, it was funny. Which is fine. OK, that, <laughs> I don't know how a firework is going to work in water. I think it could I stay it's hot, enough. I guess. So now she's paralyzed. And, uh, this is the part where I was like, oh, this is why they hired Sydney Sweeney. So she. J- Julia, not Carpenter, but mm. Caldwell, jumps into the water with mm. this very sm- not small, but like an Oxford button-up T-shirt. I was like, "Well, okay, this is that weird Kirsten Dunst Spider-Man upside-down kiss scene." Uh, she kissed her. I missed that. No, but have you? I mean, do you remember that scene? Yeah. Okay. I don't. Go I... back and rewatch it then. No, and thank tell you. me that. In Spider-Man 1? Oh, I thought you meant no, the Spider-Man Spider-Man one. Oh, and won the MTV Movie Award for Best Kiss. Yes. Yeah. She is not wearing a bra in that cold-ass rain. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so s- they dive in. They pull her out of the water. Again, uh, there was something else we just watched where she was, like, immediately uh, getting out of the shower or something, and she was just immediately dry. That was a porno you were watching. It was not. It was a movie oh, we did. Oh, that is a movie thing that bothers me. But Nobody I'm, but ever like, gets dry in a porno. Uh, <laughs> You're watching the wrong ones. Adam yeah. Scott. There, he's totally dry right after he he pulls her out of the water he's wet and then they Not cut to the next thing he's dry. dry oh was there one where it cut because no. yeah. I was like he was wet but I didn't see right. the other one okay so they, so they this is the, where we get the whole CPR scene yes uh, now what I thought we were gonna oh, get oh it's a good thing she taught him that earlier yeah right oh, yeah. so now they're all together and this is the part I thought we were gonna take a little bit of a time jump where the girls have their powers no no, no. Nope. So yeah. horrible. We're probably like two days. So she's this sitting. This ending's ridiculous. They should have just ended she's it before this. She's sitting in this, the wheelchair. She's got the. Those glasses are horrible. Uh, weird. Adam weird. Webb wore like circle like daredevil glasses in the comics. She had a bandage, I think, maybe sometimes. Well, that's sometimes. in the hospital. No, in no, the comics. I mean, she oh, was, oh, oh. But, but they made her wear the weirdest yeah. looking, they must be some Gucci product placement thing again. It's real bad. They're horrible. They look yeah. like a 3D Both. glasses off of like a Muppet Disney ride. <laughs> you know what I mean? They yes. look like a... Uh, when both both the glasses, the suit, the, the suit glass, the superhero costume glasses, and these are both equally terrible. The superhero costume glasses look like, is it Jubilee from the X-Men 97 Kinda, cartoon? Yeah. Jubilees are like square. Where they're like those right. visor looking. Yeah. Yeah. 
What are you talking about? I don't know. Uh, it's just horrible. Oh, <laughs> when they come in and they go, we got Chinese, we didn't know, or we got takeout, we didn't know what you'd want, Kung Pao Kung. chicken. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> bless you, bless you, Jessica. Or, what? Yeah, but, yeah, it's a like, like, like it is guys, so stupid. Guys, you you know. <laughs> yeah, you know what she can do. Do you not know her powers? It's like, like yeah, the whole it's thing. Like, right. Yeah, you know about this. It, that's another thing for the audience in a terrible, inorganic way. But there's the thing is we see, just to backtrack real quick, in Ezekiel's dream, yes. when he sees these spider women killing him, yes. he has gray hair. Yes, like, he's right, right. Totally gray yes. hair. I don't know when this is going to take place. Dude, brother? you're old, a brother, and your you hair? don't, and you seem to age extremely slowly. <laughs> yes, yeah. correct. You're correct. 33 years older than you were when you were 33. And you look like, the same. Yeah, right. I don't know if the powers have to play with not aging. Either way, quickly. but then he's really old. Oh he's no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I'll take that. That yeah. the powers slow his aging, and he's. 230 years old when he dies. <laughs> like, don't worry about it. But uh, yeah, yeah I, that's and that's how it ends. Is we get this the idea of like the web of life oh, and all that. Oh well, stuff. sorry, because he keeps going. He says like they're gonna stop me from completing my thing. And what's the thing? What was the thing? What he has he no want? motivation other than to not get killed by these girls. Right. The villain's entire motive. Like, what does he do? Why did he want the spider? What are his evil motivations? Because well, he seems- wants the spider. I guess. To prolong his life. No, or okay, but to, to do what? what is, I mean, yeah, in what a is movie. his villain motivation? <laughs> right. His only motivation in this movie is to not get killed. And then, right. <laughs> and so if he's not a I mean, I guess right, we assume he's a bad guy. What's he doing? But I don't know who that's up to. Why wouldn't he just have gone, I gotta find these teenage girls and like talk to them? Yeah, can you not kill yeah. me? In the like, hey guys, I don't know what happens, but like here I'm rich, here's all this money, maybe like go do something else. And you don't have powers right now? So like I've got some time. Yeah, I got, I and got, it is I got crazy time. that like I mean, I guess it's her powers. It's the way it would work, but it's unfulfilling sort of to just see uh, Madam Web just like destroy this guy over and over again. <laughs> like he never gets any sort of upper hand or he does in the visions, but then they just go in and perfectly execute. Oh, what was the thing where she went to the diner and talked to him and then it cut back and forth between him and the suit? The only time you see him in the suit and him not in the suit. Oh, I don't know. And I don't well, know what was that. She had never. Because that's not the future. I guess she was saying. She was somehow telepathically, like, I guess, connected by the web since they both are bit I by I guess, the... maybe. But it cut between him in a suit and not in the suit. Like, what were they trying to show us there? Was it just different scenes? Well, maybe you're right. Or... He wasn't the bad guy originally. And then they're like, we have to edit this to make sure people know. Yeah. That he I, is the bad guy. I, I think there is something like that going on. Yeah, it's this. It's. I it's the cheesiest ending though when they all and all the spider women and Madam Web floating above them. Yeah. It looks so it's bad. Real bad. It's, it's I like again the, the Spider-Man ha, does have this vast backlog of characters. That's yeah. not Peter Parker. Here's the problem. All of those characters much like in in this with the try I well whatever. Like Peter Parker is the centerpiece. Yes. So you need to have a Peter Parker or a Spider-Man to spin all of this stuff off. No right? pun intended. Correct. No, I meant it. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> so the fact that we keep getting these, you know, if you want to, like Craven, Craven kind of makes sense because you can tell that story without, you know, like him hunting Spider-Man doesn't happen in Craven's life till much right. later, right? He's, so you can tell does his a stuff story. And then wants to hunt well, Spider-Man. Correct. Joker was a fine movie. Oh God, I got to. I have done a I complete. Like Joker. I've done a complete one eighty on that movie. Like I've watched it recently, and it's like it's you not, weren't ever supposed to like him. He's not a good guy. That's not what the movie tells you. Um, oh, I think really? it does. Yeah. Oh, I don't people think so adopt. At all. You know, how people adopt things like that. Where like they're like, I like Harley Quinn or Joker, or whatever. But it's like they're murderers. They're bad guys. That movie never says Arthur Flick's a good guy. I think he kills that woman and her d- daughter at one point. We don't then, know. We, but, we don't know that. But, but he's not a good guy. That movie's I, not. It's how you interpret it. Okay. Like you know, people are interpreting. I think he's the hero. That's a whole different podcast. Yeah. Different. But 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 regardless, it's like a. It works. It's though. fine. Like, yeah, no matter what, no, that movie so works. you can do it. So you like, can, but like yeah. you can't do a Rhino movie. That's not going to make any sense without Spider Man. How does a Venom movie make sense? It does it. It just it doesn't make sense. It makes sense. It did make money. Yeah. It did well, make and, money. And that's the thing, <laughs> right. right? Joker's not. Joker's not like 
him going around doing big crime. It's like a it's it's king of comedy. Yeah. But with the Joker, maybe you could do Rhino and it. And it's like some Coen Brothers like a heist movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's a heist movie, and then it ends up with him making a suit or whatever. But but they're trying to do it the one way that you would be like, well, no, but we don't have Spider Man. We can't do that. And right? Like, nah, but but we're going <laughs> but to I a bunch. That, yeah, that's I think that's my point. Is Morbius? You can do a Morbius movie because he's not technically his origin isn't tied okay, into Spider Man. Morbius is bad. It is. This bad. movie's way oh, yeah. worse than Morbius yeah, 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 yeah. easily. I but watched them back to back. I would, <laughs> I would never say Morbius is a good movie, but after watching this, I'm like, that is a well, that's a much better made. Mor- movie. Morbius is a very bad movie. <clears throat> Excuse me. We well, cut that out, right? Yeah. Uh, Mor- <laughs> Morbius is a very bad movie. This is not. This is not a, a competent movie. movie. Th- this this is... just doesn't even make it to the bar of like. It's a mess. It's just yeah, a jumble. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Morbius, as bad as it is, feels like a film. It feels like sure, there's yes. real actors with real scenes. Where this one is like, let's just splice this. It, it together. has a, a bunch of of logical problems, but like. But there's a script. There's it feels like there's plot going, points and okay. characterization where Morbius right. is like, you get it. He's sick. He's trying to do something. Wait until we get the Green Goblin movie. Sure. Oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If, if, at this point, Sony's like, what else? Hey, I'll got? be right here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, it's it is this movie is it's fla- to Tom's point. This is flabbergasting yeah. that this makes it to screen. Well, and like, yeah. I mean, I know who Rhino. I've seen Rhino. Right. He's in that meme. <laughs> Who's Madam Web? Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. It's she is like the fringiest of fringe yeah. spider characters. And it's just like. I, I agree with you. They should have went with a Spider Woman, but I have a feeling MCU has some kind of handle on, you know, if you're gonna do a Spider then, Woman, but they've got a Spider Woman in this movie. But that's so they do, don't call so, her that. But so I mean, let her be, let Sydney Sweeney lead her own movie. Should have been Black Cat. Sure. Oh, she would have been the perfect Black Cat. She would have been a really good Black Cat. That's a good call. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now she's like wasted her. Well, maybe not. Maybe MCU's MCU I is mean, notorious for yeah, rehabilitating. MCU might be able to be like, look, we know they screwed it, you. Over could there. that be a thing? They can't say Spider Woman, but they can have her look exactly like they can't use je- the name. That's what I'm kind of thinking then, is that they have to tiptoe around the real names. They just kind of sound like them. So they, when they show up in the MCU, it's like, well, we never said that was her. We never said that was Spider Woman. Those were just but superhero use women same... acting like spiders. Yeah, we're going to use the same costume. We're going to have her look the same. I know, but it's like there's so many versions. I think that what they're trying to say is like, we never said that was Spider-Woman. But Jeez. doesn't it That's make more spider-like sense? like superhero. Yeah. To go, <laughs> hey, spitball in here. Call her Lady Spider. Put her in the same <laughs> costume. Have Madam Web be a mint talking to her. If like if that's how you're going to tie it in or something. It just, just seems like the yeah. weirdest way to I mean, look at a list can, of characters and be like that one. Yeah. You can still bring Sydney Sweeney in as Felicia Hardy. Yeah, right. Like it's the multiverse. Is she a good actress? Well, not I, if they're I, saying I this mean, is like, the same I think, universe. I, they're, I, I think they're trying I think to set this up like, as Tom I, Holland. I don't think so. Okay. I don't I think, think so. I, I think she's good in Euphoria. I think she's good. In she's Euphoria. really good in anyone but you. She can do a thing. Yeah, yeah but I or think, I mean. She's We've got a, only she's got a thing. thing. Right. Now I have not seen anything but it's you. It's a really really good rom-com. It's okay. really good. Yeah. I mean that's a, a perfect date movie, perfect. It's just, it's fun, it's well written. But it seems like it's a much less of an ask of her. Yeah. As yeah. a professional. But she's great in it. It's just yeah. it's it, yeah, it's It's just weird after really my only experience uh, seeing her being this movie seen anyone say well they should put her but in because i'm going no. <laughs> no, no, no but that's that's what i mean though is i've seen her in yeah other yeah things, no, right. and this movie i agree i like her but i think she was very bad in yes. this but that's the script oh for sure yeah. no I, d- I don't disagree they're like here let's cover you up and put these glasses on you and you're a nerd and you have to act like oh hey guys uh i'm a shy girl yeah like but i think that's because they she got cast in this before, before she, was she was kind of Sydney Sweeney. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, but I think if they were going back and doing it again, yeah. they'd have given her another role or they'd have mm-hmm. written that role differently. Yeah. Oh, and or also like given that's... the quality of the writing in this movie, perhaps none of that is true. <laughs> <laughs> you saved my step mommy. I'm a little girl. Oh, that <laughs> I mean, weird. her in the beginning in the hospital where, where she's supposed to be like a little kid and you stay my step. Yeah. Like, that was, but yeah, I think it's like it, Jesse Bradford playing a high schooler when yeah, he's thirty-five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is unbelievable yeah. in the worst way. Yeah, uh, this, the, the fact that we're only getting 
two superhero movies this year. I don't, I mean, DC, well, there's stuff coming from DC, but it's going to be on Max. And then we're getting Deadpool 3. We need the break because uh, these movies have not been good. Man, you, I wonder if Marvel was just like, look, let's just pump the brakes. We've got the, the Sony's fucking us with this Madam Web movie. We're just going to take they a break. They know it. Iger's like, we're taking a break. Yeah. So this movie opened to 18 to 28 million on an $80 million budget over the six day yeah, opening Yeah, it, it came out on Wednesday. 18 to 28 million six day opening. That's real bad. That's, that's horrible. Yeah, that's real uh, bad. Venom opened to like 80 million or something. I mean, Venom. Yeah, Venom, Venom was a beast. Yeah. Look, like, I think Venom is a different thing altogether because yeah. that character. For sure. Is insanely popular. Yeah. Right. Right? Like, that guy's got his own, you know, he's on everything. Yeah. It's, they don't even, it's so much so that anytime you see Spider Man on a product placement, mm-hmm. chances are Venom's not far behind him. So, I, that I see you in your Madam Web lunchbox. Golly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did sell my Spider Man collection, and that first appearance is in there somewhere. So. Yeah. I mean, I think ultimately the problem with this movie from a box office standpoint, besides the fact that it sucks, is that. There's nothing in it for the bros. There's nothing. Mm. There's and, no, I mean, and this and these Sony offshoots have been very bro driven. Yep. And yep. there's nothing in this for bros. No. Nope. And it's a shame because you don't want the cop out of like this movie is a female driven movie. You've got four female leads and it's a female director and so like you don't want it to be like oh well you're just saying this because you don't like women well, like you know a lot there's right. an online community that is awful oh, and will yeah, do that for sure but sure. you can't use that excuse on this one because and it's even just terrible in the most cynical way if this was like a studio like let's make a woman movie they messed it up at every turn yeah. like it should have made a spider woman movie yeah. well, the, that's the thing is like there's no action yeah, there well, is because, no action. Because she gets her powers right. that let her see the future, and then she uses them to repeatedly avoid, <laughs> avoid action, action set yeah. pieces. Oh, that's well, what I'm like, saying. Like you can, you if you want to make something, it's like in a horror movie when you're like, "Don't go down in the basement. That's where the monsters are." Right? Like, well, okay. that, that's a smart idea in a, real a horror life. movie where they go. You're right. Let's yeah. not do. Let's leave. But it's gonna make for a really boring. Movie. Uh-huh. Her power. Fifty-five uh, minutes of a killer in a basement going. Jeez, where is where everybody? Are they? Her power. They're gonna be home twenty minutes ago. She really gets a grasp on her power, like two thirds through the movie when she goes to Peru and like figures what the hell is going on. But her power is being able to drive a car. Yep. That's why this movie's uninteresting. Get down. Every action <laughs> scene is her driving, and it's just like in the cabin of her car going get out of the way yeah, like, I, that's I, her power that's not a fun action it's scene. a superhero movie with no act no no, there's no super- fighting there's no is fist she fighting. supposed there's... to be really good with an ambulance that's what i'm is, thinking. like is that why that's... she switches to an ambulance that whole thing of like stealing their ambulance or she was like i know how to drive one of those well you drove like, that taxi cab just fine yeah. i don't know Ugh. yeah it's terrible yeah. terrible so so bad so bad so uh there, I guess we've done all the damage. It should have been sixty minutes of suck. I but know there was so much, <laughs> wow, so much suck. There was no way. Yeah. There was no way. <laughs> There's no. Way. Uh, yeah. So uh, I guess uh, let's go around the table and everyone can say where to find them. Uh, yeah, I'm. I host a podcast. It's called uh, Real Spoilers Patreon. <laughs> you can one. find it uh-huh. at Patreon.com/slash/RealSpoilers. I guess the whole name wouldn't have fit or something. No, no, we know. didn't have enough room for it. It's a horror movie podcast. Uh, me and my co-host Joe are doing a fun, Ooh. fun thing right now. Kind of, do, you know, you got to try different things. Yeah. So we're going through phase one of the MCU um, and just pointing out: Are there any horror elements <laughs> uh, in this? We've had a we've had a great guest for the for the whole series. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Carl. Carl. Oh, I like Carl, Beckett. Carl, Carl Brunkett. Beckett. Carl Beckett. Beckett. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Uh, cool. Cool guy. Uh, he has his own podcast. I can't um, uh, really, really spoil. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so check it out. I, I think you'll you'll enjoy really it. Really spoiled. <laughs> that's it. Log that one. I'll away. check that that's out sometime. One. I yeah, heard they reviewed good. Lisa Frankenstein and it took the world by storm. I'm just saying, history will be on my side. For that. <laughs> People are like, I heard a guy has a really bad take on that movie. I gotta watch that. Except for that one guy. He loves uh, that movie. <laughs> uh, this is Joe. You can follow me on the Twitter at Joey Butts. B U T T S twenty one. Uh, and Letterbox at the same, and Matt has done a great job of plugging the Patreon. So there we go. 
All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, also, uh, Real Spoilers has a, a letterbox. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> I think everyone should check out. You should check out this movie starring uh, Kevin, Kevin Bacon's, Bacon's daughter. daughter. <laughs> Smile. I had no idea. <laughs> this is Kevin. Follow me on Twitter at Kevin R. Brackett. And this is Tom. You can follow me on Twitter at Roger Kubert or on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Tom O'Keefe. You can find the show online, Facebook.com slash Real Spoilers. While you're there, like the page, join the group. And, of course, don't forget our YouTube where you can watch all of these. So that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, Molina refuses to cooperate with the secret police. Get ready for a spoiler. Won't say it's right.